Hello. I'm trying to film an intro, but this is the energy I'm getting from my dog. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mallory and I'm so freaking excited to be chatting with you today. And so is Milo. We thought that it would be really fun to do a weekend in my life. But with a little twist, I wanted to be getting back on track, but to show you what that actually looks like when you are living a balanced lifestyle already and showing you how even when you're not feeling your best, it doesn't have to be these extreme measures that you take to and it doesn't have to be around food and exercise. It can be so many different things because our health is not just physical, it's mental, it's financial, it's emotional, it's so many different things and so much of the time we're like, I need to be eating this way or do a fast or a juice cleanse or all of that stuff and I'm just telling you, it's, it's not true. There's so many ways that we can be our healthiest, best self. I don't even like healthy in the sense of with food, I mean it just in life. And that's what I'm gonna try to do this weekend because I'll be honest, I've just been feeling off. Um, a lot of that is due to my mental health. It's due to different things going on. It's due to work. And I just really want to start to feel good again. So the first step that I took was going in. I used to have TikTok right here and I deleted it because I know I'm not posting content on it this weekend because I just, haven't had the energy to think of things. And all I'm doing is having it as a time suck. And TikTok is really hard too because you'll be watching in one second, you'll be laughing in the next second, you're crying watching something really sad. And as someone that I feel like is very empathetic, especially with my job, absorbs a lot of emotions. Wow, you're very heavy, love. This is where we're at right now. <laughs> It just can be a lot sometimes. So that's first step. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. The next step is that I'm gonna make something for dinner. I wanted to cook. Wow, that's not good lighting. But I just, ugh. I just don't know. I feel like I'm just feeling a little lazy. And I may cook tomorrow. We have this Thai-style Thai salmon with spiced red curry and fresh basil. I'm kind of thinking that tomorrow. And then Mediterranean, Mediterranean braised with zucchini, and potatoes, and capers. That would be good too. No, that's absolutely too long and that's not gonna work. We do sun basket for those type of meals because it just makes our life a lot easier. And then I'm gonna do a daily harvest bowl for dinner. This is the broccoli, cauliflower, sweet potato, tomato, and olive oil and nutritional yeast bowl. It's really good. Um, I really love daily harvest stuff and people ask me all the time if it's actually work, worth it. And I do work with them, but I ordered daily harvest even before I worked with them. I truly, truly, truly love their stuff. Personally, I'm not a huge smoothie person, although I do like their smoothies, but I prefer their bowls. So this bowl hits a spot and it takes four minutes to do instead of cooking for a whole long amount of time when I just don't have the energy, you know? So let's do this. I just want to say, as I eat this, especially if you look into Daily Harvest, that this is not always enough food for me. Um, please don't judge this one meal based and base what you should eat off of this. I eat differently every single day, and sometimes this dinner wouldn't be enough. Um, I've had a full day of eating before this. I had a lot of snacks before this, you know? And so, Looking at this one meal, you may be thinking, oh my gosh, that's smaller than mine. Or maybe you're thinking that's more than mine. The moral of the story is don't judge what I'm eating based... Don't base what I'm eating... Don't judge... <laughs> don't judge what you're eating based off what I am eating. We're all so different. And sometimes this wouldn't be enough. 
and today it is. And maybe I'll need to meet, eat more later. It's just that right now this is convenient, it's easy, and it's what I have the energy to do, which is the most important thing with food sometimes. Also, look at that little kitty. Look at that little kitty. Come here. He likes to give kisses. Also, I feel like when you think about feeling your best self, so many people try to get restrictive. But in reality, restriction is the worst thing that you could do because it's just gonna create that imbalance for you instead of just naturally having what you want. Back home late, but here are my nails. Had to get them really short because they broke, but I think they look pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm such a drama queen. Otis. Think I've talked with you guys today. <laughs> oh, I've just been taking it really slow this morning, kind of resting. As I said, I've just been feeling meh, and so I wanted to sleep in and just hang out. Look at these sleepy animals with me. What the heck? Um, I had the most delicious daily harvest smoothie for breakfast. Oh my gosh, it was so good. It is the blueberry and cacao. You guys, if you do not have daily harvest, I already talked about them, right? <laughs> I, already did. I was saying, I think literally yesterday that I don't love their smoothies. I mean, I love them, but I don't love smoothies. Like their smoothies are really good, but I just don't eat smoothies very often, but I was just kind of feeling lazy and oh my gosh. It was amazing. So again, they're linked down below. Um, it's already really late. And I'm just watching Love Island. Um, I got up an Instagram post. I need to go pick up a package right now. And I'm about to eat these chips because they look really good. Yummy. Salt and vinegar. I'm making coffee too, even though it's 1 p.m. Did I already say that? I, I don't remember. Got this boiling. I don't know if I should do decaf. I think I want a little, little bit of caffeine. Just a little, you know? Just a titch. Maybe I'll do half calf. What do you guys think? I have Savorisa coffee that I use because there was a while where I was really sensitive to caffeine and it's finally getting better, which is really amazing. Um, just because I personally like to have caffeine. That's just how I am. And I love their blends. So they have half calf and decaf. That's actually, they do Swiss water processing to get it decaffeinated because sometimes when you decaffeinate things, it's actually not, not the best for you. So I would really highly suggest, I have a discount code for them as well, I'll link down below. Sorry for all the discount codes, but it's truly what I use. So here we go. When you drop your coffee grinder on the ground. Rip. Good morning. We skipped over Sunday and we have arrived at Monday. Huh. Oh my gosh, to be honest, I started my period and I have the worst freaking allergies today. It's a gloomy day and kind of rainy and I feel like whenever it rains, 
then the next day it's gloomy it like gets all the dust and all the stuff up and it just it crushes me um plus it's like the heaviest day of my period and whoo it's feeling rough but i'm making some coffee i'm honestly probably gonna just like ease into today as a monday i was thinking that it'd be fun to do like a little q a or even just like a chat with y'all today at some point so i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see and i can hear my water boiling so i'm gonna move it on back move it on back and put that in having a new type of savorista um, this is sweet and bright with notes of brown sugar, cherry, orange, and a hint of vanilla. Yum, 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 yum. Get on back here, you crazy cow. Nice drop. Ready? <laughs> oh my god. Yum. Hello. Oh, it is Tuesday. This has been a few more days in my life than I even thought it was going to be. To be honest, it's been a little bit of a tough day. <sighs> nothing that, you know, nothing exactly with me, just with life stuff. And, you know, that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. But I wanted to come on here and do something a little bit fun to end out the video, which is to talk about some unpopular opinions that you guys have. Um, I think that these are really fun and kind of interesting. And so I wanted to choose some that people submitted on Instagram to share with you guys today. Just do a few. If you don't follow me on Instagram, that's typically where I do these things like Q and A's or asking for input, video ideas, any of that stuff. Obviously you can totally do that here in the comments as well. But for this type of stuff, follow me on there if you want to be involved. Um, and let me know your guys' opinions on these different trends down below. So I wanted to start off, well, let me start off with mine. So my unpopular opinion is that HIIT training is overhyped. There's so many reasons I believe this, but most specifically because I think that it overstresses your body and over fatigues you for a lot of people when we already have a lot of stress. Once I got out of my ED, I realized I didn't really like it that much. I just more of liked the feeling of sweating, which made me feel productive. And third, I feel like if people didn't think about it as such like a fat loss, weight loss thing, then a lot of people wouldn't like it as much as they say they do. So that's just my thought but let me know what you think down below. Another funny one that I got that I wanted to share and get your guys' opinion on is um, The Office isn't funny. I think The Office is funny, but I also don't think it's the funniest thing I've ever watched. So, I don't know. My some I have a friend though, and she would be like so livid. She's watched The Office like five, six times, literally. Um, another one is that peanut butter goes good with anything. I would say I like peanut butter, but honestly, it's not like the best thing ever to me. My favorite thing is actually sunflower butter. I know that's so weird, <laughs> but I really like it. I also love granola butter. But even then, everything, like it cannot be good on everything. Like I'm not putting peanut butter on a steak, you know what I mean? Or like eggs. I've heard of that. Maybe we should do weird food combos next. Um, imagine that. Imagine we did a video and you guys commented your weird food combos and I tried them all. Um, another one that I really agree with is that health culture, like diet culture, is not actually healthy at all. I don't know if like not healthy at all is true, but I feel like the way in which it's shared is not healthy because we share things in such extremes and a lot of the time it's not even accessible. And so if it's not accessible and it's always in extremes, is it really healthy? Um, oat milk is the best milk in coffee. There's no question about that. I'm not a big milk person. Like I don't really like the taste of dairy milk. I didn't even when I was younger. I didn't even like cheese when I was younger, which did change as I got older, but I feel like, I don't know. I just think oat milk has the perfect sweetness that it tastes so good. So 
that's my opinion but let me know your favorite down below um someone just put keto diet is stupid <laughs> you already know my opinion on that you already freaking know and let's see we'll do a few more let's see smoothies over acai bowls this is hard for me i like to eat smoothies with a spoon because I find it keeps me more full, but I usually don't even do smoothies as a meal because I don't think they're filling enough for me personally. So I usually do them as a snack. So, I don't love acai bowls, but, so I don't know. I'm kind of indecided on that one. But I think those were some good ones, some good unpopular opinions. Um, I'd love to hear what you think down below what your thoughts are thank you so much for watching this video for hanging out with me it always makes my day to get to chill with you guys and just connect let me know what you think of this type of video if you're liking these kind of day in the lives mixed in with some of this type of content where we debunk things go through things i really like making these type of videos but i always want to make sure that what i'm making is being helpful to you guys and you're enjoying it um, and yeah, I can't wait to see you next Monday for another upload. Bye!